everywhere. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> a longtime environmental advocate in Winnipeg says she's not hearing enough about climate change and sustainability in the municipal election campaigns. She says the issue should be top priority at City Hall. There has not been a, a lot of talk about the environment and not a lot of investment. So I would like to see a whole lot more. Pam Lusenku with Outdoor Open Recreational Spaces Winnipeg says the environment and the role the city can play in combating climate change should be front and centre. It, it's so important because um, for one, we're losing it. And we're losing our biodiversity, we're losing our animal, our animal or wildlife population, we're losing our green corridors that we can access to uh, enjoy uh, moving around the city. Former Winnipeg City Councillor Kevin Klein, now running for mayor, was the councillor who introduced the motion for a thousand acre master green space plan and he says he'll continue to advocate for the cause if elected mayor. I pushed for that. I was the only councillor who pushed for that and that passed at council and that was because of the outcry from the public wanting more park space, more green green space. I listened. Klein says the city needs to take a more moderate approach to the environment overall. Every major city in Canada has composting except Winnipeg and I'm really tired of us lagging so far behind of major cities that we're, we're acting more like a small town and we should be acting like the city we are. Candidate Glenn Murray calling for more funding from the province to build a more sustainable Winnipeg. To deal with climate change, which is the other major reason for doing this, you're going to need the financial resources. The city right now does not have the financial resources resources to manage the energy, transportation and building transformations required to create climate resilience and to reduce our emissions down to effectively net zero within the next 20 years. Sean Loney says he sees climate change as an opportunity that could bring thousands of green jobs in the future. Change is concerned. This is not a problem for us. This is the biggest economic opportunity available to us in generations. Loney says if elected, he'd expand wastewater services to include the infrastructure to support more energy efficient heat pumps to be used by residents. We think we can see 30 to 40,000 heat pumps in Winnipeg by the year 2030, just by modernizing the, the business of how we go about offering these services to Winnipegers. Winnipegers go to the ballot box on October 26th. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.